Listen, we all know manufactured homes is an affordable living option, but how much does it really cost? Especially here in Michigan and inside of communities. Well, you're in luck. Today, I'm gonna to break down how much it really costs to live in a manufactured home here in the state of Michigan. Let's go. gang my name is Justin Ivey I am a regional manufactured home specialist here in the metro Detroit area and in the state of Michigan I have literally helped hundreds of people buy sell and finance manufactured homes and I would love the opportunity to do the same for you but in order to do that I need to hear from you so please give me a call shoot me a text send me an email I want to hear from you also my contact information is in the description box below and it's also right here and please leave a comment in the comment box below as well. Maybe there's some other reasons why manufactured homes are an affordable living option and how much they cost. Maybe there's some costs that we did not cover here today that you'd like to share with everyone. Let's learn and get better together. Also, finally, please like and subscribe to this channel. YouTube loves the fact that this great content is getting out on all things manufactured homes, and we wanna to continue to do that. Also too, it makes us feel good that you guys are taking in and really benefiting off this great content in regards to manufactured homes. So let's get into the reasons today on why manufactured homes are affordable living options and how much they really cost. Let's go. Point number one, the actual cost of the manufactured home. Now here in the state of Michigan, when it comes to how much it really costs to live in the manufactured homes, one of the things that you have to consider is the actual cost of the home. And when it comes to manufactured homes, I've seen a lot of different types of pricing. I've seen as low as $5,000 to as much as $150,000. Now, granted, yes, that is a big gap. And when you're dealing with homes that are over $100,000, those are typically your much newer homes, more brand new homes, if you will. And when it comes to the pricing within itself, there's a couple of things you do have to take into consideration. The age of the home, the layout of the home, is it a double wide, is it a single wide? What type of materials were used to build within that home? And a host of other things. Now, typically from my professional opinion, I always try to encourage buyers to buy a used manufactured home. Number one, it's much more cost efficient. And number two, used manufactured homes are going to hold their value much, much longer. Now, what's a good price point when you're looking for a used manufactured home? From my experience, a good price point is anywhere between maybe $20,000 to as much as like maybe $65,000, $75,000. That's usually the range that you want to stay in. Anything outside of that, it does get expensive and you know the value is not going to hold as well as it would for a much a little bit older home. So when it comes to you know what the actual cost of a manufactured home, especially living in a manufactured home here in the state of Michigan, one of the things you have to consider is the actual cost of the home. And from my professional experience, you want to buy a used manufactured home because those homes hold their value longer. So that's point number one, the actual cost of the home. Point number two, lot rent. Now, when it comes to living in a manufactured home, lot rent is something you definitely have to take into consideration. Now, how much is lot rent here in the state of Michigan? Well, it depends. It depends on where your home is located. If you're looking for, in my experience, a less inexpensive lot rent payment, again, depends on where your home is, I've seen as low as $300 to $400. Now, when you start moving into the metropolitan area, whether you're in the Grand Rapids area or you're here in the Metro Detroit area, Southeastern Michigan, I see them from be as low as $500 to as much as $750. So it really just depends on where you are and what community or what city you just happen to be living in. So lot rent is something that you do take into consideration when considering to move into a manufactured home, especially if you're crunching numbers and trying to stay within a particular budget. But overall, like I've stated in many of my previous videos, manufactured homes by and large are a much more affordable option than living in a single family traditional home. So when we're talking about lot rent, if you're gonna be moving out into a more rural area outside the city, it can be as low as $300 to $400 a month. But when you start moving into the metropolitan area, your bigger cities like Grand Rapids or here in the Metro Detroit area, Wayne County, Oakland County, Macomb County, 
you'll see as low as $500 to as much as $750. So it really just depends on where the home is located. But again, by and large, manufactured homes are a much more affordable option, but you definitely want to try to consider a lot rent in terms of, your, especially if you're trying to crunch numbers and determine what your monthly payment overall is going to be. So that's point number two, lot rent. Point number three, utilities. How much is it gonna cost me to run my air conditioning, my heater, my water, my gas, my electricity, all those different things. Now, one of the things you wanna take into consideration when you're buying a manufactured home is your utilities. Now, when you're talking about utilities, one of the things you wanna recognize and know that most communities here in the Metro Detroit area and in the state of Michigan, when they bill you lot rent, they also bill you on water, but the water is based on your usage. For example, let's say your lot rent is $550 a month. They'll usually tack on the water behind that. So let's say based on your water usage, they bill you maybe $25 a month. That means your total payment for your lot rent and your water usage will be $575. $550 plus $25. So that's one of the things you wanna keep in mind. But when it comes to other parts of the utility bills that you pay, it's just like any other home. Here in Michigan, it gets really cold. So obviously in the winter time, your heat is gonna be running a lot more. Here in the summer, it does get hot and it does get humid. So yes, your air conditioning is going to be running more as well. Those are things that you want to take into consideration. Now, on average, I usually tell buyers to have anywhere between $200 to $300 a month set aside for their utilities as well. Now, over the grand scheme or overall, that's much more affordable than say paying for what you might pay for a traditional home. So again, like I've been saying in many of my previous other videos, Manufactured home living is a much more cost effective and affordable option for many, many people. So when we're talking about utilities, a couple things to keep in mind. Whenever you have a lot rent payment, most communities will bill your water bill behind that. Again, for example, if your lot rent is $550 and your water bill is $25, you're going to be making an overall payment of $575. Now here in Michigan, it gets cold. So your heater is gonna run more in the winter. Your AC is gonna run more in the summer. So those are things you wanna take into consideration. But on average, you wanna have set aside 200 to $300 a month. So that's point number three, utilities. Point number four, maintenance. Now maintenance is something you have to take into consideration whether you're buying a traditional house, single family, or if you're buying a manufactured home. Now, what I usually try to tell buyers to do is set aside anywhere between 200 to 300 dollars a month set aside for maintenance why because things happen when you're a homeowner the faucet is going to go out the water heater is going to go out um, you're going to have to make repairs on a door a cabinet something you want to be responsible and be proactive enough to setting that money aside again 200 to 300 dollars a month setting that aside to make any repairs that might be needed uh, within your manufactured home. Again, over the grand scheme of things, living in a manufactured home is a much more affordable option. So it's gonna be much easier for you to take care of certain things because manufactured homes, the way that they're made, are gonna be a much more affordable option for you. So when it comes to maintenance, you wanna set aside anywhere between 200 to $300 a month. And maintenance is something that you're going to have to do if you're a homeowner, just in general. Even if you own a single family home or if you own a manufactured home, you want to be proactive and be consistent and diligent in putting money aside for maintenance. Again, maintenance, you want to look at anywhere between $200 to $300 a month. That's for maintenance. Point number five, homeowner's insurance. Now, with being a homeowner, whether you own a single family home or a in this case, a manufactured home, you want to be responsible and proactive to set aside money for homeowner's insurance. The reason you want to have homeowners insurance is because outside of the normal wear and tear of a home, things happen, whether it's flooding, an electrical issue, uh, wind damage, or a host of other things. You want to make sure that you have proper insurance to cover those types of damages. Now, when we're looking at manufactured home insurance, again, it's a much more affordable option than it would be for a traditional home. I usually tell buyers to set aside anywhere between 100 
to $150 a month for homeowner's insurance. That will get you some quality coverage. Again, we don't supply coverage here at Creek Valley Properties. I might even do a video in regards to different types of homeowner's insurance for manufactured homes that are out there. If you wanna see the video like that, leave a comment in the comment box below. But when it comes to homeowner's insurance, you wanna be proactive in putting money aside to handle things outside of the normal wear and tear of a home. Fire, flooding, electrical, or any other thing that might happen in regards to the home. Again, homeowner's insurance, you wanna set aside anywhere between $100 to $150. That'll get you some good quality insurance and that'll keep you safe and keep your home in good standing. So again, point number five, homeowner's insurance. And point number six, miscellaneous expenses. Now, this is easy and it's a pretty short point that we're gonna be covering. When we talk about miscellaneous expenses, these are all things that you may or may not need or you feel like you may or may not need and they're totally within your control. Now, when I say miscellaneous expenses, I'm talking about entertainment for the most part. Maybe you wanna get Comcast, AT&T, whatever cable options that you want. I really don't know a lot of people who get cable anymore. Most, a lot of people that I know, a lot of the clients that we work with, they usually go to streaming services. So that's something that you can definitely control, whether it's Hulu, Netflix, Paramount, Stars, HBO, Amazon, Showtime, a number of different streams. There's so many streaming services out there right now. But again, these are things that you may or may not need. So that's something that's definitely within your control. A good round number, if you're gonna be someone that uses streaming like I do, I try to have anywhere between 50 to 100 bucks a month, maybe 120 when it comes to streaming services. You don't wanna to go too, too crazy because at that point, you might as well just get regular cable. So when it comes to miscellaneous expenses, I'm more so referring to you know entertainment that you have in your house. And when we talk about entertainment, we're usually talking about television. So streaming services is kind of what everybody goes with right now. Again, you don't have to do that. Um, you can't just get regular cable and just be done with it, but a lot of people would like to have the streaming services because they don't always just watch TV at home. They can you know, be on the move, and I know a lot of these cable companies, they offer streaming services as well where you can watch on the move, but whatever floats your boat. Anyway, a good number that I usually recommend is to have anywhere between $75 to $120 a month for your television entertainment if that's something that you decide that you want or need. So that's point number six, miscellaneous expenses. Well, there you have it, gang. Those are some of the points that I wanted to cover today in terms of what are the real costs that are associated with living in a manufactured home here in the state of Michigan. I hope you enjoyed today's video as I enjoyed making it, but please leave a comment in the comment box below. Maybe there's some other costs that I didn't consider or that I didn't recognize. Please leave it in the comment box. Maybe there's a topic or a video that you want us to cover as well. Leave that in the comment box below. Let's get better together. Also too, my contact information is in the description box below. Again, please give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I want to hear from you. Also too, if you kind of want to know where lot rents are at or below $500 here in the Metro Detroit area, shoot us a message and we'll get that information over to you as well. And finally, Please like and subscribe to this channel. YouTube likes the fact that we're putting out great content in regards to all things manufactured homes. And we wanna make sure that we continue to get this message out in terms of manufactured homes continue to be the most affordable living option. And also too, it makes us feel good that you guys are consuming this great content. But until next time, I hope to see you guys soon. Take care, God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.